If you have got a CSV or an Excel file full of leads, you might be eager to use it right away to contact them as soon as possible. Wait a minute, let's not confuse speed with haste. Even if we assume that you do have real-time data, which I hope you do, are you sure that your data is reliable and accurate enough? I mean, there is no need mentioning that a good database is an essential ingredient for an effective campaign. To improve the quality of your raw customer data, we can make use of data enrichment. The overall idea is to add additional data fields based on the starting ones you have previously collected. Data fields can help you to laser segment your different targets or data enrichment can even help you to gather other means of contact like email addresses, social media links, and so on. It can be done manually, but this is probably the most boring and time-consuming task ever created. Thus, the purpose is to automate B2B data enrichment. In this video, I will present you two tools, two tutorials to do the job. Let's jump into it. The first tool I'm going to talk about is called Drop Contact. Drop Contact is a pure data enrichment tool and it will help us to get professional email addresses from our leads, among other things. But as we have said earlier, the main point of a data enrichment tool is that it requires us to get some information beforehand. And to use drop contact efficiently, we need to get three data fields. We need to get a first name, a last name, and a company's name. Actually, there is something even better than a company's name, and it's the company's website. And it does make sense because a company name can be related to multiple companies actually. Multiple companies can share the same name, but a website, a website URL, is related to a single company, which implies that the result we will get will be more accurate. Unfortunately, I do not know any web scraping tool which will help me to get uh, the first name, the name, and the company's website, so we'll have to type it manually. And for the sake of the example, let's say I want to enrich three leads. I want to know the professional email addresses of Elon Musk. The second one might be Guillaume Moubesh. And let's say the third and last one can be Ben Chestnut. I believe this is how I pronounce it. Now let's find out what the websites are. All right, we've got our sample. We just need to save our file. Let's come back to Octopars and I just need to drop my file. Please note that once you have created an account with Drop Contact, you have access to a hundred free credits. A hundred free credits doesn't entail that you will get a hundred email addresses because one credit is equal to one try. And depending on your input, you can get from 50 to 75 percent of professional email addresses. But one more time, it also depends on your categories and the categories you are targeting. But we will talk about that later on. I drop my file, I wait for a little bit. It will consume free credits, so I process my file and I see you back once I've got my results. I download my file and let's see what we've got. So I've got the civility, ma'am or sir, which can be really helpful if I expect to conduct an email campaign, first name, last name, and full name, the job title, the professional email address, so maybe 
we might be able to say hello to Elon Musk and we've got next to it email qualification so we've got catch all at pro and nominative at pro what does it mean well nominative at pro means that we are pretty sure at 95% that this email address is a valid one it has been verified however catch all at pro implies that the email address has not been verified so the bounce rate is very likely to be higher than usual in other words we can bet that this email address doesn't exist actually we've got the linkedin profile drop contact information the company's name the website company linkedin url and that's it this was the number one scenario we can get professional email addresses with a first name, a last name, and a website URL. But what about if we don't have access to these pieces of data? Can we do things in a different way? Well, we can achieve a similar result based on LinkedIn URLs. Let's give it a try. I will target drop contacts and I will scrape, let's say, 10 employees. I'm going to use a web scraping tool in order to extract LinkedIn URL and I see you back once it's over. Ten data rows I can download my Excel file. And same thing as before, I can drop my file. Please note that using LinkedIn URLs instead of companies' websites is less efficient. So it's pretty likely that we will get fewer email addresses. Same data fields as we have discussed. And we've got six email addresses out of them. When we pick up LinkedIn URLs as an input, we can get around 50-55% of email addresses. Then the remaining data fields remain the same. As you can notice, drug contact is a perfect tool if you already have a CRM, because usually speaking, the hardest part is always to collect the initial data fields. So here is a little trick for you. We can also use the API key in order to link, for example, Phantom Buster and drop contacts. In other words, we will be able to do data scraping and data enrichment at the same time. To sum up, Alfu being a good tool, drop contact is not a good tool for everyone. To begin with, drop contact doesn't work well for some professions, usually small companies. If you are targeting hair salons, lawyers, construction workers, doctors, and so many more, drop contact will be unable to enrich your files. Secondly, drop contact only remains a data enrichment tool. It means you have no choice but to provide the software with an input to provide the software with data you have previously scraped. And to some extent, data scraping is a tedious task. So what would you do if you are looking for an easier solution? What would you do if you want to contact small and medium-sized companies? What would you do if you wish to automate data scraping and data enrichment at the same time? Well, the answers lie in a software named Scrap.io. The promise of Scrap.io is to help you to turn Google Maps into a leads machine. You have access to a quick demo below if you want to have an overview of what you will end up with, but we will see that in more details in a few minutes. The first thing you have to do is to create an account if it's not already done. Then you will have access to your dashboard. I invite you to click on it and to pay attention to this tab 
because it's the most important one of the software. Here you will be able to retrieve all your leads based on your criteria. But what could be your criteria? The first one and the most obvious one is your activity. Actually, there are around 4,000 different categories listed on Google Maps. So if you want to have access to the full list, we'll let you a link in the description. As a consequence, I can allow myself to write a very accurate category. I might be looking for restaurants, of course, but as you can see, we have access to many different subtypes. I can select a Thai restaurant, maybe an Asian restaurant, a pizza restaurant. You get the idea. Then I can pick up a specific country. We don't have access to all countries in the world, but we have a few. Let's change it from France to United States. I can select a level one division, a level two division and a city. The last four criteria are location criteria. Level one division means a state. Level two division means a county and a city means a city. I type New York. I click on search and I will get real time data of restaurants in New York City. And I've got around 6,000 results. But what about if I need to get more accurate data? As you can notice, some restaurants don't have email addresses. Some restaurants don't have websites. Some restaurants don't have any phone numbers. What about if I want to include or exclude some data rows? In that case, I can click on filter and we've got two different kind of filters. We've got essential and advanced filters. Let's take a look at some of them. Main activity only. What is its meaning? Let's take an example. A restaurant may not only be a restaurant. It can also be a cafe, it can also be a bar, it can also be something else, I don't know. In that case, if I click on yes, I will only be looking for restaurants as a main category and not as secondary categories. About companies with a website, with a phone number, with an email, with social media links. Now, what about advanced filters? Google Maps listed claimed. It simply means that companies are aware that they are listed on Google Maps. In other words, they at least pay some attention to their SEO. They are willing to find opportunities to target a broader audience. We can also filter based on the price range, on the rating, on the number of reviews, the number of pictures. Finally, we can target companies with a contact form on the website, in which case it means that the company obviously already has got a website. We can also filter based on ad pixels, but I will explain it further in a minute. Once I've set up everything I need, I can click on filter and I will get fewer results, but much more targeted ones. If I'm happy with my results, I can click on export. I can click on advanced options, create an automatic export name. And if I want to get the first 30 rows, I type 30. Here are indicated all the data fields I'm about to retrieve. Then I click on export. I'm now located within the My Exports tab. Once the process is over, I will be able to download my results in a CSV or Excel file. All I need to do is to wait for a little bit and I will see you back once I've got my Excel file. Let's have a look. We've got 30 data rows. We start with the company's name, the description, which is shown in some detailed pages. Actually, we've got multiple descriptions, whether the restaurant is closed or not, what we have been talking about, the main types and all types, website, the phone number, do we have all phone numbers? We do. The full address, which is divided into different subtypes, the longitude and the latitude, the link of the Google Maps detail page, the email address. Do we have access to all email addresses? We do. Social media links. First seen on. When do we have seen this detail page the first time? It can give you an overall idea whether the company is new or not. Price range, 
review counts, review rating, review per score. So 20 people gave a one star rating and 189 people gave a five stars rating. Number of pictures, URLs of some pictures, occupancy, which is different from opening hours. Occupancy is related to this bar chart. Whether companies have been claimed on Google Maps, working hours, characteristics, which is something you can find if you click the About tab. SEO characteristics, if the company has got a website, of course. Website title, keyword, description. Additional email addresses, if needed. Additional contact pages. Additional social media links, if available. And we end up with website technologies and website ad pixels. As an example, we can see that this company used WordPress to create their website and that that one spent a bit of budget using Facebook ads. This is the end of the video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If it's the case, you can give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to use scrub.io, by creating your account, you can get 100 leads free of charge. The link is in the description. See you next time.